he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Towards the end of the life of Jesus Christ, he gives two very agonizing and mm. uh, desperate prayers. Mm. And this is one of the two uh, that we are looking at. Irregardless of whatever he was feeling, irregardless mm. of how he was feeling, irregardless of him being so sorrowful and distressed, yes. he still had to find that time yes. to go and talk to his father because he knew where his strengths come from. Indeed. Mm. Oftentimes when, when we feel sad, sorrowful, mm. Uh, broken hearted, depressed, mm. we don't feel the need or rather we don't have the energy, energy. Yeah. to kneel and talk to God. Mm. We, we don't have the time mm. to even open the word mm. and talk to God. Mm. But what we learn from the experience of Christ here mm. is that even uh, in the weakest moments of our time, mm. we still need to talk to God. Even when we don't feel like it, mm. especially when we don't feel like it. That's the right we time. We have to talk to God. There are certain times, especially when you are in, 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 in so much sorrowful or distressful moments, mm -hmm. that is the right time for you to take time and pray for yourself. Because no one will pray for you because you are the only one who knows how you're feeling. Yes, yes. You are the yes. only one who knows how heavy this burden is. Mm -hmm. mm. That, that's one of the characteristics of mm. this particular mm. prayer, mm. where you need to maintain the private mm. prayers. Yeah. It's, it's easy when you go to church mm. to ask the, the priest, to ask the pastors, mm. to ask a, a, a prayer brand or a community of believers to pray for you mm. and to pray with you. With you. Mm. But they're not always there to mm. do that for you. Mm. And sometimes they're there, but they, are not, they don't have the strength to do it mm. with you. And as we look at the prayer towards the end there, where Jesus says, nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. That is somehow submissive, that irregardless of, of, of my suffering, mm -hmm. irregardless of whatever God you have planned for me, mm -hmm. still later will be done. This is an aspect that is missing in most of us as followers of Christ, mm -hmm. where we demand things from mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. You can hear even from 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 uh, the way we speak to God. Mm. Uh, we are not submissive. We are demanding things. Lord, I must have this. I declare. Mm. I'm not saying it's bad to declare, mm. but the attitude with which you are declaring is not an attitude of being, being submissive, submissive to God. Yeah. Yeah. It's an attitude of demanding as though you are talking to somebody equal to you, yeah. yet you are talking to our Father in heaven mm. who created the heavens and the earth. Mm.